Good voice, man. Thank you. Did a great job. Oh, good time. I'm gonna get me to do some of the shows over in uh, the Quad Cities area. I'm from Iowa. We have a guy in overalls in the John Deere hey, right now. That's not true. I've seen the guy. And what are you doing with my belt? <laughs> but Mike Williams has been a ring announcer for uh, professional boxing for almost uh, 13 years. I've been doing mixed martial arts for the past uh, almost three years. What did you think of last night's show compared to shows of the past you've done? I thought it was one of the best shows. Uh, I've, I've been to probably, I've been to hundreds of shows. It's one of the best shows I've seen live or on TV. And the primary reason why is because a lot of big uh, shows you see one or two high profile matches or in the end there's one or two uh, uh, fights that end up being spectacular. I thought on last night's show I thought every single fight was, was spectacular. There were knockouts, uh, even the ones that went to decision went to, uh, and even though they were unanimous decisions, they were still good fights. They were competitive and they were uh, action packed from start to finish. So from start to finish I think it's one of the best cards I've ever seen. Has there ever been like a mistake you've made live on TV or a funny story you could tell us about something you've been through live? Well, one of the, one of the secrets of, of, of being a decent ring announcer is when you make mistakes, and the answer to your question is yes, when you make mistakes, you just know, uh, you learn over time how to cover them up so they're not uh, uh, as obvious or perhaps you, you, you're, um, you're good enough at tap dancing that you're able to conceal it completely. So the answer is yes, every ring announcer makes mistakes. Um, you just can't make mistakes on the biggest things. Um, for example, you got to pay fighters and uh, ringside officials and commissioners the respect they deserve by getting their names correct, pronouncing them correctly. As long as you get those uh, those key points uh, uh, correct and you don't make mistakes there, little stuff you can cover up. And are you friends with like Michael Buffer and Bruce Buffer and all those guys? Uh, I've never met Bruce. Um, Michael and I have done events together. Um, I've announced many undercards that he's done the main event. In fact, Affliction Band, Michael Buffer did the main events and I did the, uh, the undercard fights on Fox Sports. So yeah, I've met Michael several times.